Hello and welcome to your fourth Lua lesson. In this lesson we're going to be doing if statements, else statements and else if statements. Okay, so what if statements do is they basically check if the condition is true. So we do these by writing if, then your condition, then you write then, and then what you want it to do. So do something. And then you write end to end the if statement. So it's basically logic if something. So if the cat's hungry, then feed the cat. End. Just as an example. So let's go with that example, feeding the cat. So let's say um, hungry to represent if the cat's hungry. And let's just make it false for now so the cat isn't hungry. And then we say if hungry equals equals, we do a doubled equals because we want to check if hungry is true and we don't want to set hungry to true. Um, this double equals is a conditional operator, we're going to do a bit more of these in a sec. Uh, so then, so if hungry is true, then print the cat is hungry, the cat is hungry, feed the cat. End. So this isn't going to output anything, as we'll see, because hungry isn't true, hungry is false. So what we can do, what if we wanted to do something else if hungry is false? Well, what we could do is we could write another if statement and say if hungry is false, then print the cat isn't hungry, like that. And that will work, the cat isn't hungry. However, it's much easier to use an else if statement. So what we can do is we take away all of this and the end. And um, all you have to do is write else if. So if hungry is true, then do this. Else, so otherwise, if hungry equals false, or double equals, equals equals false, then then uh, what we wanted to do when it's not hungry. So print the cat isn't hungry. And then end. So we can do this. It does the same thing. The cat isn't hungry. Okay. So what if hungry isn't true and hungry isn't false? In fact, we don't, let's say we don't know what hungry is. Let's say hungry is... Hello. If we did this at the moment, nothing would happen. So what we can do is we can write an else statement. So let's just take away this end. And you just write else. And then what you want to happen if it's not true, it's not false. So it doesn't follow the if or the else if statements. So print none. End. So if we just this now it prints none because it's hello so if we change it to something else let's say hi then it does the same thing it's still none because it doesn't follow any of these conditions now you can actually make as many else if statements as you like so we could say else if hungry equals hi then uh, then print Doesn't represent if the cat is hungry or not. I mean that's a bit long, but we could do that and it would that will work fine. Okay, so that's that's all the statements. Uh, however, what about these things called conditional operators, which I told you about? Well, there are lots of different types. Um, to start off with, let's just do some with integers. So let's take all this code out and let's call it number. So what we can do now, if number, we could say equals equals 3, or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to say is less than or equal to, so that's just a less than sign, then an equals, 5, then, and print 
the number is less than 5. And, and that should work fine. The number is less than 5. So we can do less than or equals to. We can also do greater than or equals to. So this isn't going to do anything because it's not greater than or equal to 5. Let's just make it greater than or equal greater than 5. The number is less than, oh, not less, it should be more. Well, you know what I mean. I'll just quickly do that. There you go, the number is more than 5. And we can also take out the equals and just say less than or more than. So, let's just do more than. Here we go, the number is more than 5. And then the number is less than 5 and don't forget we can still use these else and else if statements so we can go else if number is greater than or equal to uh, what should we say in fact no let's say yeah well basically you can use them um, greater than or whatever so we could say else if number is less than 3 then and notice that these two come in the same condition and you'll see what happens in a minute. Print number is less than 3. Now, we can debug this. And what it does is it says the number is less than 5. Now, the thing is, it is actually less than 3 and less than... Oh, sorry. No, it's not. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Now, it says the number is less than 5. It doesn't say about the 3. Now, this is because what it does is it goes right. If the number is less than 5, then do this. And it goes, okay, now I'm done. Let's just skip to the end. It only goes to the else if statements if this isn't true. And that's why it doesn't say the number is less than 3. Okay. So, what other ones have we got? Conditional operators. Uh, we can do not equal than, which is... I'm sorry, not equal to. Which is a little squiggly thing. And then equals. So, if the number isn't 5 then print the number isn't 5 the number isn't 5, if we make the number 5 then it doesn't do anything uh, this is pretty much the basics of else, else if, if and that type of thing and conditional operators uh, they come in useful all the time, just have a play around with them, they're great fun uh, try a bit of user input with them, maybe. Um, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Have a nice day.